I've been helping people with money for more than 20 years, but no one stumped me more than the princess. I love to buy many things, purses, shoes, designer sunglasses. I buy whatever I want. I'm here to help this princess take control of her money and her life. Over the next four weeks, she'll live on a strict cash diet and complete weekly challenges. What you need is a kick in the ass, is what you really need. I wouldn't say that. If this princess has what it takes, I'll transform her from spender to saver, and I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. You can't even afford it. I can afford it. I have a credit card. No changes, no money. Oh, 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 she's a princess. She's a princess. Introducing Princess Michelle. My name's Michelle, I'm 27 years old, and I'm a student. I can shop like a pro. She spends more than other girls. Michelle's spending is totally out of control on restaurants, uh, going out with her friends. Michelle likes to spend money on clothing, shoes, accessories. I don't think I have a shopping addiction. I think I just really love to shop. Michelle is studying to become a lawyer, but that's not her only goal. I'm currently writing a book. I want to design my own house and then I want to hire someone to build it for me. I also want to have another home in LA. I would like to own a Cadillac Escalade. I'd also like to buy a dog. But the reality is this princess doesn't even fund her most basic needs. She doesn't pay any rent and she doesn't pay for any groceries. I paid for her education. I paid for the car, maintenance, and gas. It's a luxury car. It's black, it's sleek. It's just a great car and I think I look great in it. She's never really had a real I work like a career. I work in an optical store. It's really slightly above minimum wage for a few hours a week. Well, she's always asking me to borrow money. I don't make enough to support me and her. My intent is not to get money out of people. It just happens that because I'm charming, people feel the need to give me money. I think part of it is laziness, because I mean, I've seen her even around the house. She is very lazy. She doesn't do a lot. Yeah, she could help around the house, but most of the time she's on the computer. Michelle, I'm talking to you. Please bring the dishes. Hold on a second. I think the most frustrating thing is back a couple of years ago when we saw two credit cards that she owed about six or seven thousand dollars, which was unbelievable. They, I think, at one point paid off about approximately ten thousand dollars to my credit cards, and then within a few months, I put back on almost five thousand. I think she really needs to work and earn her own money. We're very worried, actually. Uh, we're worried that the that if she can't manage her expenses today, what's going to happen with her going forward? Her life would be a disaster. Michelle's friends and family are fed up, so they brought me in to whip this princess into shape. I brought Michelle here to show her how her behavior is affecting everyone around her. Hey, Michelle, Gail Vaz Oxley, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Well, are you ready to hear some hard truth? I think it's about time that I am. Come on, princess. Okay, so you're spending money you don't have, right? Right. You're 27 years old, you live at home, mm -hmm. you don't pay rent, you yeah. don't work more than 15 hours a week, Yeah. you have no life if your parents don't pay for it. How is that not pathetic? That I actually found insulting and I was highly offended. You don't call somebody pathetic. When do you start being in control of your own life? Soon. When? Today. Well, let's see what mommy says. Michelle, if you're not working so many hours, you don't make too much money. So how could you afford to buy all these expensive things? So that in that way, it affects me because I'm going to pay the bill again. I think it's unfair. You're buying the stuff and mommy and daddy's paying your bill. I don't think it's right. You're banking on the fact that your parents are going to bail you out again because they did it once and they'll do it again. Yes. Do you feel like you're attached to your parents? Yeah, I do. And your parents make the number one mistake parents who love their children this much make, and that is that they have no expectations of you. Hopefully, I would like them to have expectations of me. I don't want to be thought of like that. I do worry quite a bit and, and concerned that, you know, is she ever going to be financially responsible? Unless Michelle changes her attitude towards financial planning and financial responsibility, it is going to cost my wife and I a fortune. By paying Michelle's debts, we can't retire as early as we had hoped so. It's been years since we have been pointing these problems to her. So we're really disappointed that it's continued for so long. What does it feel like when you hear your father say how disappointed he is in you? 
It's just kind of a shock because I've never heard him really say that out loud. Why do you think that is? I think that they just don't want to say anything negative or... What they, you need is a kick in the ass is what you really need. Yeah, and I think his negative statements are kind of hitting home. Yeah. Yeah. The next four weeks are going to be life-changing. Okay. It's time to reveal the numbers, and I've invited Michelle's parents to join us so they can see exactly where her money is going. Do you have any idea what a mess your daughter's life is in? I'm going to show you some of her financial story, because I don't know how okay. much of it you actually know. This is a snapshot of where your money's going. Zero going to savings. Your debt repayment is pathetic, and of course, you're spending $44 a month on your needs, but you're spending $15.46 a month on your wants. Do you know what you make in a month? Not that much. Apparently, you don't want to go back to school as much as you want to indulge yourself. Good point. But she assures me things are changing. We've heard that before. Yeah, I don't believe her either. She owes $39,700 odd dollars. That big, huge amount really surprised me because that's a lot of money that she has to pay back, and it really upset me right now. This is one month worth of consumption. In this month, you spent over $1,000 mm -hmm. on clothes. And in six months, you managed to spend $8,000 in self-indulgence. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's upsetting because you think that with all of this support that she's getting, that she'd be reducing the amount of expenditures she has over and above what we're providing already. So how do you propose to take care of almost $40,000 worth of debt, working 12 hours a week? and spending more money than you make on earrings and sunglasses. I need to get a better job. You need to get better priorities. You have been earning about $15,500 a year gross. You would have to earn $53,000 a year to spend what you've been spending. You'd have to earn $76,000 <laughs> to spend what you're spending and get your debt paid off. And if you were paying your own way right now, mm -hmm. you'd be going into debt to the tune of $33,000 a year. Wow. I mean, that's ridiculous. I can't do that. I have to do something because I'm not going to let it get to that point. If you want her to grow up, you have to stop. OK. Mm. OK? Yeah. Good. Yep. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yep. This is about taking control of your money and your life. Okay, I'm going to give you a series of challenges to do over the next few weeks. You do the challenges to my satisfaction. I'll give you up to $5,000 to help you pay down your debt or meet one of your other goals. You don't do the challenges, you don't get the money. Okay. You have the wrong attitude, you don't get the money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have some work to do this month, okay? We've got to teach you that you can live independently. Okay. We've got to show your parents that you can be a contributing member of their household. So it's time to start dreaming and start planning, setting some real goals. Sounds good. The next thing I'm going to do is take away your plastic. Oh. <laughs> you know what this is? Oh my god, no way. I think it's very possible that I'm going to revolt. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. 27-year-old Princess Michelle still lives at home while her parents fund her lavish lifestyle. I have two bedrooms filled with my things. And she has zero desire to be independent. She's attached to my parents, I think. She never really left the nest. Her family has reached their limit, and they've cut the purse strings. So it's always me supporting her, and I can't keep doing that. I stopped paying her bills now. We've cut her off. So they've called me in. If she completes all my challenges with the right attitude, she can earn up to $5,000 to pay down her debt. Got your plastic? Yes. Hand it over. Thank you. One of the things you're going to have to do is you're going to have to learn to live on what you make. Of course, you make next to nothing. So all you get is $50. For a week? A week. <laughs> Are you joking? 50 bucks a week on food? That's like starving yourself. You know what this is? Oh my god, no way. I've never taken the bus before. I don't know where to get the bus. I don't know how it works. I don't know which way it's going. It gets better. What is that? Those are the keys Keys to the apartment you're going to be living in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because you are moving out on your own to show that you are now able to stand on your own two feet. And I have to take the bus from the apartment. <laughs> Welcome to reality. The Get Real Challenge is designed to snap my princess into reality. 
I set Michelle up in a bachelor pad to see if she could take care of herself. And no one was more skeptical than her sister. Do you know how to do laundry? Sure, you just turn it, right? What about like keeping this place clean? Um, last time that I moved away from home, I got very homesick. I was lonely most of the time. I went shopping and I kept having to ask my parents to send me more money. So I'm a little bit worried this time. Hopefully I'm able to budget my money well and I don't get that lonely. I think it's very possible that I'm gonna revolt and have to go back home. Like most princesses, Michelle believes she needs an expensive carriage. I have my own car. It's a BMW that my parents bought. I would like to own a Cadillac Escalade. It could fit all my shopping bags in the back. But an $80,000 vehicle isn't realistic on her very tiny income. So now she's taking the bus. The hardest part is carrying all my stuff with me on the bus. Living without my car sucks. As part of this challenge, Michelle needs to put together a budget and debt repayment plan. Her Princess Planner has clear step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. But rather than reading them, Michelle, the aspiring lawyer, enlisted the help of her sister, a full-time teacher. I don't like numbers. I don't understand them. They have absolutely no meaning to me. Total. It's a calculator there. You can add it. Does that include the fixed expenses and the variable expenses? Yes. Are you sure? I'm so confused. Numbers are not my forte. They are not significant in my life. I try to avoid them at all costs. 214 minus plus my income. I have 8570 extra a month. Are you sure that's right? No. Mm -hmm. I just really suck at math, right? Um, yeah. It appears that two heads aren't always better than one. It's a week later. And I'm not sure Michelle has made any progress. It's about time I give her that kick in the butt I promised her. So I went through your budget. Yeah. And I have some questions. Okay. Okay, first of all, your budget still doesn't balance. Right. You have all your overheads are covered for you. Yeah. And you're still managing to spend more money than you make. Yeah. You think it's acceptable to spend $150 on your hair? Are you kidding me? That's not every month though, that's every four months. It doesn't say that on the budget. I know, I didn't know what to do with that. Having a hard time following instructions. No, we didn't know if we, if we should just put it for every month or what. Oops. Where did you come up with the 350 for debt repayment? I didn't know what that was for. I didn't follow the instructions. Hello, I am completely aware of that. They were unclear. The instructions were not unclear. I don't think it's possible to make the budget balance because I don't make enough money. And you want to go to law school? Yep. Where are you getting the money to pay for your tuition? My parents are probably gonna have to co-sign it. Your parents are gonna have to? They're gonna have to go further into debt to get rid of you. Unless I save up tons of money. <gasps> oh my goodness, what a concept. I, I wanna pay for it, but... Well, what are you doing to pay for it? You're working 12 hours a week. Well, I'm looking for a full-time job now. Well, I'm gonna help you with that. Cause I found your job. Coming up. My arm's tired. I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm exploring different options of ways to get out of doing the show. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Princess Michelle has big dreams, but her debt is even bigger. My current immediate goal would be to finish my law degree. She expects her family to pick up after her and clean up her finances. How can a 27-year-old girl not have a job? Well, I have a job, but I don't make that much. What you have is a job that most people would work in a day, maybe a day and a half. Right. She's not going to get very far only working a few hours a week. If Michelle wants to make something of herself, it's time to take action. Michelle's working through the goal setting process. To reach a goal, you have to establish your priorities. Michelle needs to prioritize making more money so she can pay down her debt and save for school. I found her a job she may not have considered on her own, but she needs to work hard and have the right attitude to pass this challenge. It's gonna suck because I'm gonna have to wake up in the morning, take the bus to get there, go to a job I don't wanna do, clean stuff that I don't wanna clean. You have to hurry, roll them up nice and neat. Ah, see how that's bent? Unroll that. I felt a little uncertain in the beginning when she was doing the floor. Michelle, you missed a spot. You gotta get that all up because you don't wanna be mopping dirt. You're gonna clean the fridge today. Um, I had a little bit of a grossed out moment when I opened the fridge because there was just a huge wave of stinkness. It just smelled and there was mold. It's stuck on the door. A little bit of elbow grease. I do find she was a little bit scattered. 
You're wasting time here, Michelle. You should have done that first. My arm is tired. I can't breathe. <laughs> it would probably be difficult if I had to do this six days a week just because it takes so much time and energy. I'm not sure Michelle wants to do the hard work to get her to where she wants to go. She could earn more money doing this job than she does in her current one. And if paying off her debt was a priority, she'd do whatever it takes. I'm never gonna make enough to be able to afford to pay back to school. So it's kind of like, what's the whole point of it then? Looks like Michelle isn't getting the lesson. Let's see how she's doing when it comes to living on cash. Living on my food budget for $50 has been somewhat difficult. So your total is $28.05. Um, can I put something back? My week is not up, but I've run out of money because I went grocery shopping to cook my sister a meal. It's kind of noni. Nice. <laughs> I kind of ran out of money. I should have budgeted it well, but I didn't. So I basically ate cereal. Living within your means really sucks. I met up with Michelle and her family to check in. You did do some hard work this week when you went off and had to make $15 an hour. Yeah. That's what people do when they're putting themselves through school. So within the next month or so, you want to have a job that pays you between thirty-five and fifty thousand dollars a year in order to accomplish what you want to accomplish next. Right. How realistic do you think it is that you will have a job within the next month that pays you somewhere between thirty-five and fifty? I have an interview set up for next week, and yes. I was told that the training would start as soon as possible. And what are you planning to do with the income um, you're generating? I'm initially, I'm planning on paying, um, putting it towards debt repayment. Okay. And this is where we come to your next challenge. Do you have any concerns about the fact that she's not growing up? Yeah, we do. And, you know, I tend to agree with you is that um, she hasn't been independent enough. Your next challenge is an attitude adjustment challenge. Okay. <laughs> you have a lot of attitude and we need to do a lot of adjusting. <laughs> you are moving home and you are going to be at the beck and call of your parents for the next week. Living alone is kind of lonely, so I'm looking forward to moving back home, but it's gonna be a big change to have me serving my parents than rather them serving me. She did a lot of chores that she never usually does around the house. She vacuumed, she washed the dishes, and she really didn't complain about anything. I think the attitude adjustment challenge was good for Michelle because it made her realize that she is a part of this family and she does need to contribute to it in order to make it run smoothly. Did you do the laundries? No. Why not? I think she has changed and learned a lesson. Yay, some more laundries. It seems that once Michelle's family finally set some expectations, she was able to live up to them. Oh, she's doing pretty good. I don't really like driving that much, but my parents have driven me around many times, so I drove my dad around. I've seen many changes in Michelle, actually. In the past, she would be more reluctant to, to get involved or to help, but no very different attitude. I think my parents like the change. I think that they have wanted this change for a long time and that they're just happy that it's finally coming about through Gail's help. Coming up, my final verdict. I think that you have a huge amount of distance to go. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. When I first met Michelle, she was a pampered princess who spent far more than she earned, lived off her parents, and seemed totally unconcerned about the $40,000 worth of debt she'd racked up. Over the last four weeks, I've challenged her to get real and grow up. It's kind of embarrassing being on the bus. Realize how hard she needs to work to meet her goals. Are you crazy? You gotta get the top before you get the bottom. It's just something I don't want to be doing. And change her entitled attitude. You missed a, a few dust spots over there. But has she come far enough? Before I make my final decision, I want to meet with her parents. She seems to be very willing to do whatever is asked of her. Have you noticed that? Yes, I, I noticed that. Yeah, but it has to be explicitly asked. Mm -hmm. So as long as she's under your roof, you're going to have to set very clear expectations for her. Early on in this process, she was not being very successful. Right. But over time, she started to get it. Right. No, we saw that change as well. You did? Yeah. Tremendous mm -hmm. progress, yeah. That's good. I think she learned from those chores that she has to be more independent. Shall we talk to her now? Yes, Okay, please. great. Yeah. Yeah. Come on in, Michelle. I think the only thing that may stand between me and getting $5,000 would be maybe just getting a job, showing her that I can do it and that I will get a full-time job as soon as possible. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. 
So you're almost working a whole week now. Yeah. You're almost there. <laughs> almost there. Okay. Which is a far cry for what you'll have to do if you ever decide to go back to law school because you will have to work 70 or 80 hours a week. Right. So there's nothing too much wrong with getting some practice. Right. Michelle completed all the challenges, but did she get all the lessons? Until she gets a full-time job, there's no way to make her budget balance. So will she succeed in the long term? Only time will tell. But my time with her is up. I think that you have a huge amount of distance to go. I believe that you look very carefully for direction, that you haven't yet developed the maturity to find your own way. And so if they leave you to be self-directing, you flounder a bit. You start defining yourselves by all the wrong things, like sunglasses and shoes and handbags. Right. So I think one of the things you have to work on is developing that sense of what it is you want and how you're going to be self-directing for the rest of your life. Because the last thing you want to be is the person who only takes direction. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I have for you a check for three thousand dollars. Oh. I hope you're going to use this to pay down your debt. Mm -hmm. because this will go a long way to knocking off some of that interest you're going to have to. Okay. Okay? Thank you. You're very welcome. It was quite a challenge for her to make some drastic changes, but we were there to support her, and um, she did a lot of it on her own, and we're quite proud of her. I think the best thing to come out of it is the realization within myself that I need to make changes in regards to how I spend money. The future feels good. I can tell she loves to go shop. She's all out of control. She can't stop. Designer clothes, jewels, hair. She's throwing money everywhere. My head is spinning. Head is spinning. Oh, 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 oh. She's a princess. She's a princess. Modern day princess.